fragrance that my aunt told me about. And she said it was really good. And my son got it for me. Thank you, son. Love you. Uh, how you afford all that? I don't know how you afford all that. Uh, uh, Rob, some people. Huh? I robbed some people. Oh, wow. We're, we're just going to say that's a good thing. Okay. All right, so I'm in my grandma's house. Uh, what, Sean? Got my Mother's Day presents. And again, my grandma know that gift. I'm sorry, Mom. Grandma. Granny, happy Mother's Day. Oh, baby, thank you. So I'm like you Rejoice in the Lord always. For that. Amen. Hallelujah. Who is that on there? This is a camera. Mm. This is a blog. Nah. Thank you, precious. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, you picked this. Yeah, man, open that. Uh, yeah. Amen. Oh, Lord. What's your case? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rob. No, I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Why you buy all this? Oh, now you know I needed this. Love oh that, my God! Love that. Oh, I love it. You just you you, 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 you know what I like though. <laughs> this is my car. Yes, ma'am. Oh wow! Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I got, I got to do a gift too. I'm gonna get you a gift. You gotta go open your gift now, Mom. Sit down for, for a few yeah, minutes. Okay, okay. Well, I want you to open your gift, though. Yeah. Hi, everybody! Mm. Oh, my goodness. You can just sit down at the table and then oh, and look at everything. Mm -hmm. Jesus, help us. <laughs> help us all. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody out there in TV land. Happy Mother's Day. My son got me a gift. He always comes through. Oh, yeah. ah! I got my Clinique Aromatic Elixir. I thought you said Phil Kalina yet. Okay. I, this is a new fragrance that my aunt told me about and she said it was really good. And my son got it for me. Thank you, son. Love you. Mm -hmm. How you pour it all that? I don't know how you afford all this. I robbed some people. Huh? I robbed some people. Oh, wow. You know we're, we're just going to say that's a joke. Okay. Thank you all. Yeah, I'm trying to put me in the next home. I'm going to shoot all my sons. Mm -hmm. I'm just, just like they read and said, I'm going to have a gun in my lap. <laughs> I'm going to shoot them in the toe. Woo, that's fun. Bye, Baba boy. <laughs> Bye, Baba boy. Bye, Baba boy. It's Rob Hawson back with another video on Missing Conversations. Uh, today is a Mother's Day edition. It's my mom. Hi, uh, everybody. Tara Tatum. I want to introduce yourself, mom. Well, my name is Mrs. Tara Tatum. Of course, as he stated, this is my son, Rob. And I am so pleased that he asked me to do an interview with him. I'm looking forward to the question. So if I don't sound too sure, just overlook that. <laughs> so, but um, anyway. I'm ready, son. What would you like to ask me? Okay, so we're going to start off with a little game. Uh, so my mom, she raised all four boys, uh, all by herself, yes. a single mom. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to start with a game, just, just trying to uh, see what the personalities of each boy was. I'm going to ask her a few questions and see which boy was what. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, so out of all the four boys, who was the most independent? Well, the most independent was Rob and his older brother, Trey. They were both more independent nick he was independent to a way but he was kind of like wow a little bit wow trey and rob were more calm they were more settled in their actions um little rob was more in a independent in a way where he's a go-getter he liked to go out and get things like um anything that he wanted he would say mom i'm gonna do this and by this date i'm gonna have this and pretty much he made it happen because he had a desire to do so uh, Trey, a little bit more laid back. That's his older brother. Hopefully, you all get a chance to meet him soon. Nick, oh, wow. He's the more rambunctious one. He's the one that likes to just go out, have fun, you know, kick it. He's getting a little bit more settled now that he has two children. Uh, that's my son, Nick. 
So, ready for the next question. Okay, good. Uh, so the next question says, out of all the four boys, who is the most misbehaved? Uh, well, my most misbehaved son was Nicholas Smith. He was the one that liked to go out and have fun and do things his way. He was more kind of like a street guy. He, he wanted to be out kicking and having fun, all about having fun, was really never serious until now he's getting a little bit more serious because like I said, he has two uh, young sons and he's trying to be an example for them. Next question. The third question says, out of all the four boys, who was the funniest? Uh, the funniest was Nicholas. He was just really funny, still funny today. Yeah. Uh, liked making people laugh. He could have really been a comedian if he wanted to. Sure. So, but that's who is the most funniest, Nicholas. Okay. And the last question says, out of all the four boys, who was the most sensitive? I would say to me, the most sensitive was my oldest son, their oldest brother, Trey. Uh, he was more sensitive, more laid back. He uh, just, you know, real calm, real like kind of really in a sense timid. He's a little bit more outgoing now, of course, but when he was younger, he really never got in trouble in school. And really when I busted him, he just never uh, argued back. I remember when he was getting ready to graduate, he said something back to me and I almost fell out. I said, whoa, okay, he's coming alive now. Thank you, God. <laughs> but the most sensitive would be my son, oldest son, Trey. Next Good question. Good job, mom. Good job. What kind of child was I? Well, Rob, he was more, he was calm. He was a little bit in between calm and active. Uh, like I said, he liked to go out and get things. When he made up his mind something he wanted, he would accomplish it, you know, regardless of whatever it is. So, I uh, hope I answered that question right. Okay, all right, that's your question. Next question. All right, so uh, the next topic, um, being a single mom. Of course, you, like I said, wow. you raised four men all by yourself. Uh, I mean, of course, you had your mom and your other family members for her health, uh, but how was that personally? Well, honestly, me being a single mom for many years, raised four handsome, intelligent men. Um, it had its moments, but it was easier for me because I had my mom and my dad mostly helping me. Um, to me, when I really look back on it, there were some times where I can't say I didn't get discouraged in some things, but my walk with God kept me. Uh, whenever I had any problems or issues, what I did, I, I ran closer, cling closer to God. I went to the Word of God. If I was having a down day, that's what really kept me going is the Word of God. And I also had a minister that would teach me uh, certain things. His name was Chief Apostle Rudd, I have to be honest, because I was thinking about it today, being a single mom and all that I've gone through, um, the Word of God is really what kept me afloat, honestly. Next question. Okay. All right, so uh, along with being a single mom, you raise all four boys. Like, you know, you being a woman, you have estrogen, and men have testosterone. Mm -hmm. Not only did you have men have the testosterone, you had four of them. So, like, mm -hmm. how was that? Well, I tell you, having four men in the house, me being the only female, sometimes as they get older, have one that would try to buck. The other two would not, but I just had to let them know it, you're not the king here until the king come. That's the only person who's going to be able to rule me and tell me what to do in the house. And if you didn't like my rules, I just told them there's a door. I didn't try to fight them, didn't try to beat them, anything like that. I just said, there's a door, son. And that's it. And then one other thing I told him, I don't know if Rob wanted me to say this. He may edit this out, but I would always say if they did something wrong, was going to do something wrong, I would just tell them, don't pick up the soap. And they knew exactly what I meant. And I mean, I literally would say this all the time because I wanted them to think about their actions and what the consequences are. If you went to jail, it may not be nice in there. So that's pretty much it. Next question. Um, being a single mom, like it, it's, it has its moments. Like I said, it can be hard, but like I said, clinging to the word of God that helped me and had my mom and my dad for a little bit of support. Um, do you want me to tell about you? Their yeah, say uh, basically their fathers were really never were in their lives but even though their fathers were not in their lives like they should have been because of the word of God and because they had a desire to do certain things even well let's just say we did overcome uh, with the word of God I tried to teach them you know the best that I could I'm a true believer in the word of God that's the only thing that like I said really helped me my advice if I could give to any young lady out there look at the person that you're dating Pretty much if he's not showing you responsibility when you're dating, he's not uh, paying for your meals, he's not, you know, don't have, you know, values and goals of like he's really going somewhere, 
you, you have to get to know the person before you jump into a serious relationship. I know sometimes it doesn't happen because, you know, we feel that we're just, the guy is, you know, handsome and we like him and we feel like we love him. But mainly, if you're looking for a, a true mate, one thing that I would say, find out, is he a true believer? Do he love, does he love God? Is he willing to work? Is he uh, independent? Do, do we already have a car? Do we have a place to say? Dep depending on the age is what I'm saying. When, they, when a man probably gets about, mm, maybe I'd say about in his uh, 30s or something like that, he should have 25, between 25, 25 he should have his own transportation and have a job. And not saying that he's in between jobs. You know, unless something happened, he just got laid off or something like that, but he's in the process of quickly getting another one. I would say those are some of the things you need to think about when you're uh, dating a young man. Bye, bubble boy. 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 Bye, bubble